Hello everyone and welcome back to the City Witch series. Today I think we're going to be doing some volcano adventuring because we haven't even stepped foot in there really yet. I mean we went off to the side bit to try and get those walnuts but there's even more if we go to the actual volcano um, and maybe we might be able to enchant something today. I think I need to pop off home to go and get any like prismatic shards and stuff first so let's go have a look what we've got at home. I'm sure I've got some things. Maybe we can pet the animals while we're here too. And I must remember to come back tomorrow to collect my rhubarb too. Although we do have some cauliflowers. I'm gonna sell off all the gold ones and the silver ones. I'm gonna keep any basic ones for processing. Oops, let's get rid of the apricots too. And whilst I'm at it, I'm kind of low on teleport cores, so let's make some more of those. It's definitely also a good day for us to go to the volcano as well, because it is a good luck day. Um, I'm gonna bring like two prismatic shards with me. I don't wanna bring too many, just in case, you know, I happen to lose them. And then let's head on back. Now, is there anything I can leave in a chest over here before I go? Probably some of the like seeds and stuff. Sprinklers, I don't need those. Um, I'm not gonna bring the slingshot. I have a little bit of Aurea, so I'm gonna make some bombs. Don't need the fishing rod in there. I think I've got everything I need. The paths can stay too. I probably should have brought some spicy eel with me, but that's fine. I can live without it. Oh, the egg festival! I completely forgot! <laughs> oh no! Well, okay, fine. We're not doing the volcano today. I feel like the egg hunt's like too important to miss. Wait, do I have any money? Oh, I do, okay. Um, I don't have that many sprinklers. I'm trying to think when, like, how many strawberries I do. If I do, like, three sprinklers worth, that should be fine. Make sure we get chatting to all the other villagers, too. It's a good opportunity for a bit more friendship. Do you think I'm too old to do the egg hunt? No, never. If I'm still having fun, why stop? Exactly, Abigail. All right, friendship points got. Let's make a start. Definitely curious to see how many we get this year. I think I read somewhere that the world record for the amount of eggs got in the egg hunt was 14 and I'm like, literally how? I'm sure there are some eggs that I've just like literally never seen before. But I thought this year I'd try something different, I'm going in a different direction to what I usually do. I mean so far so good, even if I am stepping all over the trees and getting in the way of stuff. Oh there's one over there, damn it. I'm pretty sure this is my record, oh my god. No way. No way. <laughs> 13 eggs? I can't believe that. I was literally just like, how did someone get 14? I mean, how did they get 14? One more feels impossible to me. Maybe if I didn't step over that tree that I wouldn't have had a problem getting the last egg, but oh my god. And obviously I can't not win this. Thank you for my thousand gold. 13 eggs! That just happened. I can't believe that. Right, let's get our strawberries planted. Here's our area for our four sprinklers worth. Um, so we're gonna put all of these down. I'm gonna have to go get some speed grow, maybe tomorrow wait what time does sandy close actually um why don't we go have a look i'm pretty sure it's like 11 50 right aha wait she doesn't sell speed grow on saturdays what am i doing oh man okay what i'll do instead is i'm gonna add it to my list oh maybe i've got some at the island no i probably don't do i i'm gonna put it in bold that'll remind me i mean it probably is worth me just having a quick check right oh we got the rain puzzle dude completely forgot about that yeah no we don't have any speed grow okay never mind Let's just get them planted for now. I could have sworn I bought enough for four sprinklers. That's so annoying. Oh no, that looks so awkward. Uh, uh, well, I, there's nothing I can do now. That looks awful. We're probably not gonna be able to go to the volcano tomorrow either. Cause thinking about it, I've got my rhubarb to deal with. I need to go get the sea. I mean, I suppose I could still get into the volcano. I just, I don't know if I'm gonna get far enough to worry. It is a good luck day. Oh, it is also Haley's birthday. There's too much to do, oh my God. What's in our mail? We got the escargot recipe from Willy. See, it's definitely worth talking to people at the egg festival. Let's grab all of our rhubarb. Once I've handled all of that and then handled Haley's birthday, I do need to go and get some more rhubarb seeds from Sandy. Oh, you know what I could do? I'm wondering if I could make everything grow a bit. I think what I'll do is I'll harvest all of my rhubarb first. Once I plant to the next lot, I will try and use that photosynthesize spell. This is the perfect opportunity to use it. Oh, we got another leak over here. That was worth the two second distraction. I probably should have gone foraging yesterday as well, given it was a Saturday and we definitely need some leaks for George. I mean, how many are we at now? We've got two more? Okay, we're so close. All right, so similar to the cauliflower, which I pickled all of yesterday, all of the basic rhubarb is gonna go in the chest and the rest of it is gonna go into the shipping bin. Although actually first I do need to go put some in the fridge. So those, those, I'm gonna put the green beans in there too. I think we're good grabbing a sunflower for Haley because I'm pretty sure she loves those. Then I just want a quick look out in this direction to see if there are any leaks. If I can find the last two I'll be happy. Oh we got this liner's cutscene. The water's never been cleaner. Enjoy your lake bath. Well I didn't find any leaks but I think Haley's still at home so we can 
We catch her before we have to do all of our other little errands today. Should be good enough to get into her room now. Yes, I am. Happy birthday, Haley. You remember my birthday? I'm impressed. Thanks. My sister's so weird. Sometimes I wonder if we're actually related. Who knows, Haley? That should hopefully put us at full... No, maybe not full friendship. I thought we would have been closer than that. Maybe not. Where is she? Hello? I suppose I could speak to her and find out. I know I've scrolled past... Nope, I can't speak to her and find out because I've already spoken to her today. Damn it. Oh, there we go. Almost seven hearts. I probably should have brought something for Emily too, but at least I can speak to her. All right, before I head over to the desert, I am just going to double check how many sprinklers worth of uh, rhubarb I need. So like 11. To the desert. Hopefully I can afford it all. Hi, Sandy. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I ran out of money. No, <laughs> that's awkward. Okay, whatever. I was not expecting to be spending 25 grand on rhubarb today. Just didn't remember it being that expensive. It's worth it. It's worth it to me. We should make a lot of that back overnight because we've got the rhubarb that we picked up today. Ooh, a leak. <gasps> we got two from that one. That means we can go and give them to George now. Let's go and grab them from the chest. Pretty much written off the idea of going to the volcano today at this point. And that artifact that we got from the desert was actually new, so I should probably hand that in too. So now we just gotta put them on the stove. All done. Oh, there we go, 2,000 gold. Maybe if I saw that beforehand, we would have had a little bit more money for our rhubarb, but it's fine. Kent's asking for a garlic. I'm gonna accept the quest because I'm hoping I've got some at home. Wait, do I not have any garlic at all? I could have sworn I grew loads. Oh, I did. Okay. It's in the fridge. Now, where is he right now? I think he's over at Pierre's. Here you go, Kent. One garlic. Thank you for the extra gold for that. And before we head off home, let's go and donate that one artifact. All right, it's planting time. I mean, worst case scenario, I could technically go back to Sandy once I've planted all these when I know how much I'm going to need. I think that's what... No, I just picked a flower. Oh, it's fine. I think the honey was always coming out as blue jazz anyway because it was the nearest. So we'll just stick with that. Or maybe I've got enough, actually. We had more than enough. Okay, never mind. The rest of the seeds are going to have to go in here for now. Oh, I do have some deluxe bee grow, but only three. Not enough to worry about. And I think what I'm actually going to go do is plant this tea sapling inside my house. I don't know why I haven't done that yet. I've had this little pot for a while. I know we don't actually have to water it, I'm pretty sure. Okay, now I did want to go and check on seeing if we can do some photosynthesis. So let's go swap one of our spells out first. I kind of forgot about that, but hopefully everyone's already left the altar so I can go and sort out my magic without people looking at what I'm doing. Problem is, which one am I going to swap? I mean, I know it's only temporary. Um, Probably the till one. Let's go put that in there and then we'll go give that a go back home. So if I was to stand like down here... I want to stand mostly amongst the strawberries. I don't really know how this works, so I don't think I have to hold it for it to work. So if I just go with, let's give that a go. Okay, something happened. Um, just gonna pop in and out of the house and see if anything changed. Oh yeah, look at that. Now the rhubarb is 11 days. Is it usually 11 days? I'm gonna go check the seed. No, they take 13, so it did actually accelerate it by a couple of days. It seems to also affect the trees too, because all of my fruit has now respawned over a day. <laughs> I think instead of trying to push for going to the volcano today, I'm going to try and visit the city. Oh, I have a banana. I can go and get the walnut for that too. I'm going to keep that on me just so I remember to do it. I'm also low on emerald, so hopefully we can get some more of those from the volcano too. Can't come over here without picking up all the forage, of course. Maybe on our way home, we'll start cutting down some of these trees. I think I just saw Gwen actually. Oh, there she is. Here you go, friend. Flesh Robot just announced a new album. I kind of want to make a reaction video. But how do I make it worth watching? Just be yourself. I don't know where Kristoff's going to be at this hour. He's probably, hopefully, in his office. I don't know. We'll go find out. Because I feel like sometimes he just kind of disappears and then I never know where to find him. Oh, there's Selena. We never see her that often. So let's make sure we give her something. Would you like a parsnip? Enjoy. Giving the parsnips instead of the corn I brought because they are iridium quality instead. So he's walking off this way. Come back. This is for you. Enjoy. Let's see if Kristoff is in. It'd be funny if I walk past him on that floor because I didn't really look. He's not here. To be fair, he could be in one of the other stores. Is he in the cafe? No. Did I walk past him on my way up? Apparently not. Never mind. Let's try the Jojo Mini. He's definitely not here. Okay, well, we're probably not finding him today because by the time it gets to nighttime, I can literally just never find him. Well, they're definitely not at home. I'm going to go try the cafe. I don't know if it'd be closed by now, though. I'm sure it would be. There goes Gwen again. Oh, no, Selena's walking over to the cafe. Oh, we can get in. Okay. Um... Well, there's Buddy. Here's a parsnip. I think that's literally it. Where's David? Is he at home? Oh, he's already in bed. What is he doing in bed when there are literally customers downstairs? Would you like some cherries? Wait, am I stuck on... Okay, I'm stuck on his stuff. Here you go. I can't believe he's just chilling in bed whilst all of his customers are literally downstairs. 
I'm gonna see if I can try and make it with uh, cutting down some trees on the way home. I don't know if I'm gonna do it or if I'm gonna pass out, but we can try. Oh, there are a lot of ghosts. I forgot about these. Well, that's annoying. It's fine. We'll go in the next bit because that's not quite near the ghost town. Should be a bit less bad. The monsters around here are not too difficult to fight anyway. <gasps> Is that an ancient seed? Oh my god, my inventory's full. I'll be taking that. I mean, to be fair, some would better than none. I could probably get home if I tried. There we go. Farm. And then, am I going to make it? I don't know if I'm going to make it to bed. I'm going to be right next to my- No! Again! How many times have I done this now? Hey, we got 37,000 gold for yesterday, so all that rhubarb paid off. Spreading weeds have caused damage to my farm. Where? I thought I had this message a couple of days ago. Wait, what? Did I miss these three spots? Oh no. Oh well. Not first. We've got the coffee machine from Evelyn. Um, I'm going to have to just yeet it on the floor for now. All right, let's see what I can sell from here. So probably the... No, I'm going to keep the morels just in case we're crafting. Not really too bothered about the rice shoots. Sold a few bits of forage and stuff. And the ancient seed. I think I might go ahead and plant because I don't think I filled out the greenhouse yet. I should probably also check on that because I don't think I have in a little while. Oh, we have some new ones ready to go. Oh, and our star fruit is ready too. How did I not even think about that? Oh my god. All right, let's get some more seeds going. Um, I can probably go ahead and grab this star fruit. Means we have a bit more star fruit to go towards our star fruit wine. But any gold ones for now, I'm going to keep for the missing bundle too. And whilst we're at it, we might as well put the coffee machine in the house. Oh, look, the aliens escaped. Of course it has. I mean, I'm probably going to be a bit happier putting this in my room now that it's not got something in there to watch me sleep. And with the star fruit, I do tend to keep the silver ones, especially when I haven't got that many for now. The gold ones can be sold. Evelyn, I just gave you a load of leeks. What did you do with them all? She wants another leek. I mean, I suppose I could bring one over, but not right now. We can do that anytime. I just need to remember to do it at some point. <laughs> so we've got 18 more ancient seeds to plant, which is amazing. Slowly filling out our little greenhouse. And then I think now it's time to actually head back to the island. Oh, let's grab the green beans first. Oh, I see there are weeds around. Let's go pick all of those up before they cause any actual issues. And then let's see down here if we can get any other walnuts from these muscle little things. Wow, it's taken me today three to realize I don't have animation cancelling on. <laughs> there we go. Come on, give me a walnut, one of you. Well, no new walnuts there, but let's go hand in that banana. Actually, what can I leave here for now? Um, I'll keep the coal and the copper on me just in case I get any more, which I probably will in the volcano. Ooh, artifact spot. I'm glad we found that banana now. Hello, sir. Enjoy that banana. Thank you for the walnuts. That's a good way to get that one done nice and early. All right, let's do this. <gasps> Walnut. We should be able to get a fair amount of them in here. Probably need to zoom out actually in a second. Much better. And I think what's also quite nice is I'm in here with the burglaring as well. So I should be able to get a fair amount of cinder shards. Just kind of slowly as we make our way along. This one has a button. I mean, 130 and we're only still on floor one. That's kind of not ideal. Maybe I just need to focus on getting to the top. Oh no, is there another button? Oh, where is it? Over there. Hey, first item warp totem. Not that I kind of need it, but I mean, this still nice to have, right? Got another one with a button in here. Oh my god. And I definitely want to get to... Oh no, I can't reach him. Well, I didn't get any dragon teeth. Oh no, let's not die. I'm so glad I've got this heal spell. It doesn't use very much mana either. Although there is a free dragon's tooth on the floor over there. Let's deal with all these enemies first. Got our first magma cap. Let's check what's in this chest here. A warner and some boots. Ooh, the boots are actually better, aren't they? Oh no, seven defense, but no immunity. I think I want to keep the immunity for now. Oh, we've also got the mummified bat. That's a win. I usually have to spend ages farming for that damn thing. All right, on to the next. This isn't going too badly, I feel. It could be worse. <gasps> Another prismatic shard. That's a win. Let's go. I'm going to start keeping my dragon's teeth. No, not dragon's teeth. Cinder shards in my hotbar, so I can actually keep track of how many I've got. I'm not going to miss out that little button down there. I am getting a little bit unlucky with the amount of button floors I'm getting, though. That is the only thing. Hey, we made it to the fifth floor. Whilst we're here, should I buy the recipes? I probably should, shouldn't I? Um, Got any loot for me here? Oh, got our first little robot. Thank you for the diamond. Let's refill the watering can whilst we're here. I could have actually teleported. I just realised I didn't actually need my watering can. That's quite funny. We have the blink spell. Oh, no, not these lighter, brighter fire people things. I hate them. It's like slime, but worse. The only thing is I keep my blink spell on a different bar and I don't always want to like switch. It's kind of a pain. More walnuts and cinder shards, I would take that. Oh, we've got a journal scrap too, and then I can pick up that piece of ginger. Hey, there's a walnut little map thing. Now, where are the buttons? There's one over here. Hopefully it's the only one. It is. Okay, let's go. Hey, level nine. We're going to do this. As long as I don't take absurdly long on this level, we're going to be good. Oh my God, we actually got two mummified bats. What's going on? There's a piece of loot up here. 
sneaky little chest. <gasps> Dwarf hammer. Um, sap. Sap can go away. With our animation cancelling, that would be pretty good. And it's definitely so much quicker killing everything with that. Uh, level 10. I just, uh, no, now I remember about the prismatic child that's already here. I'll grab the other walnut on the way out, but let's grab this first. And then I'm going to go ahead and try and enchant. I think I'm going to start with, do I start with my pickaxe? Probably my pickaxe. What are we going to get? We have got the powerful enchantment. That's exactly the one I wanted as well. You take less hits to hit things. That'd be great. Don't have enough to do anything else yet, so we'll leave that as it is. But it is almost midnight anyway. Actually, on our way past, we should have time to go and drop off that mummified bat thinking about it. Hello. Let's give you one of these to think. Generations have come and gone whilst this little bone lay hidden beneath the soil. Now it's mine. Well, I have one too. And would you look at that? With this donation, we've got another full set piece completed. Got a little something waiting for you behind the counter when you're ready. Let's collect that walnut. And then whilst I'm here, let's do this little question thing as well. So I think this one was 22. Got another walnut for that. And then I think, can I do the starfish yet? I can. Is this the one that's 18? It is. Okay, we're now done. Sweet. Let's head back before we pass out. Successful day. Even if it wasn't even a very good luck day. Actually, whilst we're here, let's unlock the desert trader. Desert trader? Island trader. I feel like we always get these things mixed up. And now I need to figure out what we actually need from here. So... I think the only thing I really need is the mango sapling. I suppose I could do with the banana sapling because I still have to be able to uh, ship one at some point. Although I might actually find one out by the rainbow tree in the summer. I don't know. Maybe it's not worth us doing just yet. Let's go ahead and slap everything away that we can. I'm going to sell any like minerals we got here. Actually, not the emeralds because we're kind of low on those. Maybe not the ruby either. I'm going to sell one of the magma caps and we'll keep all of the dragon's teeth, of course. And then let's get some sleep. Got another like 12 grand last night, so it's another relatively decent money day. And oh, it's raining. Um, oh no, I just realized I sold the topaz that was over here. Uh, ooh, we've got a garlic ready. I'm gonna leave that there, obviously, for um, Mr. Froggy Dude. Let's go and see if we can find the next. Oh, do we have enough walnuts for this? We need 20. Okay, we need six more. Should have probably brought my fishing rod, really. Um, I've probably got it in the chest here, actually, thinking about it. But first, I want to go and see. Wait, what was I doing? Oh, yes, I was looking for this. So I might actually be able to... I probably should have kept the amethyst too. What I'm going to do is teleport back to the farm and then see if we can go ahead and grab the other gems that we might need. So I think it can also be... We've got a ruby. Um, I think it's aquamarine. We've got that, obviously. Topaz and amethyst. Take the opportunity to leave anything here that we can. I think I'll leave the dragon's teeth here too. And apparently I need to ship a cinder shard, so I'll go ahead and do that. And then I'll leave my prismatic shards here just in case, because I don't really need them right now anymore. All right, let's go to Island East this time, because we kind of need to be out here now. So we know that the topaz was in the west, the aquamarine was in the north, so that leaves us with a couple of options down here. Um, so it's not those. Let's try this. I can't remember if I have to talk to it when it's the right way around. No. There we go, we got it. So it was the amethyst over here and the ruby at the bottom. Or was it the other way around? I've forgotten already. But either way, we're only one walnut short now. So maybe we should go ahead and get our fishing rod and do some fishing. There's my fishing rod. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to fish out by the dig site because we can get the lucky ring there potentially. That would make the most sense. I mean, I know you can technically get the lucky ring anywhere else, but if I do it over here, more panning spots tend to show up and I need to zoom out to be able to do that too. Got a little panning spot down here. Can I reach it from here? Yes, I can. Oh, it's a bad luck day, so we're not going to get the lucky ring today, but that's fine. I'm not sure if the red is, like, just a bad luck day or if it's the worst luck day. I mean, even if it's a bad luck day, it makes our chances, like, 0.1%, and that kind of isn't worth it. If it's the worst luck day, though, it's literally zero. We physically can't, uh, get that lucky ring today. Hey, golden walnut. There's our 20. We'll go ahead and open up that resort right now, and then we'll go and check the little new area that we're going to unlock. Here you go, little parrot. Have some walnuts. Hey, and now we should get some visitors over here at some point when it's not raining. Oh, I should have brought flute blocks too, shouldn't I? Maybe we go and do that. Can I make them yet? No, I think I need the special order. Okay, that's fine. Let's just get the ones we can for now. There's one. Here's one. Then we go into the tunnel. Then there's one over here. And then it's just a case of waiting for our little visitors to come in here. But first, let's try and catch the stingray. Hopefully we get some more walnuts in the process of that too. Hey, walnut number two from fishing. This is definitely a stingray. Or is it? I know they're reasonably difficult to catch, but I don't remember. I feel like I don't catch many of these. This is one of those fish I don't catch unless I really have to, and now is one of those moments. Hey, we got it. Wow, thank you for the single piece of bait. Alright, I'm out of here. 
I'm pretty sure there was a bubble spot outside, so I might go ahead and take advantage of that. It might have already ended by now. So annoying that I don't have the flute block with me. Or rather, the recipe. Oh, walnut number three. That was nice and quick. I suppose it probably wouldn't be a bad thing for us to carry on with working on our fishing level. We're in spring year two and I still haven't got level 10 fishing. I just don't like fishing. It would definitely be good if the bubble spot could give us the last two walnuts we need from fishing and then I don't have to worry about it on here anymore. We've got a journal scrap. What does this one say? This is another one of the actual, like, more like actual journal pieces. I want the ones with the maps on them. No, I don't want trash. Unless I've miscounted and I've already got all the fishing walnuts. I didn't think I got any at all yet. And I'm also talking about, like, before today, you know, in the last episode. I don't think I've got any at all in that one. It is starting to make me doubt myself, though. At least for now, this bubble spot is being pretty kind to us. <gasps> Another walnut. There we go. That's more like it. Come on, give me one more. Damn it. No, we do still need the fish. I need to remember that we do actually still want the fish. And there's our last walnut. Thank goodness. Let's get out of here. I think I will go ahead and check how far along we are with the walnut room. But first, let's sell off any fish we don't need. I'm going to sell the stingray. Okay, I think we're good. Probably going to be time for another chest as well. Oh my god, I've got 350 wood just chilling over here. Let's make another two chests. Oops. Let's try that again. There we go. Um, What am I going to remove from here? So any fish can come out and fishing related items. Those can go over here. And then in the next one over, I think I'm going to put all my crops. Oh, I should probably plant those tarot tubers. Um, those, those. I'll keep the coconuts in here because those are going towards um, the golden coconuts. Just need one more of them. Any other crappy bits in here? Not really. Seeds. Seeds can move. That's basically it. Now, it says that there's taro tubers here, but I don't see anything, so I don't really know exactly what's happened there. But we're just gonna pretend we don't see it and move on. Now, somewhere over here is that walnut that we have from that map. There it is. Oh, and we got the quality bobber as well. That's awesome. Now, let's check on our walnut room progress. 78 out of 100. Okay, we actually are quite a ways away. I think we've got quite a few that we can get from harvesting uh, our crops when those are ready. Pretty sure there's still ones left from killing stuff, from mining. Obviously we've got the mermaid puzzle left and the pirate's cove. I'm not sure if they're going to be here today. Let's go check. Pretty sure there was something about even numbered days, but I can't quite remember what exactly the conditions were. It might have even been later in the day. It might be more like seven o'clock. All right, maybe let's just pop on home a sec and just double check what we've got going about the the bulletin board. Oh, and our wine's ready. That was a good thing I came back to check. I could probably do with making some more kegs too, actually thinking about it. So let's have a look. Um, I know I left some wood over on the farm, but that's fine. Copper and iron wise, how am I doing? Oh no, I need more copper. All right, well, let's do deal with that real quick because copper doesn't take that much time. Oh, am I out of coal? No, I'm not. Oh my God. <laughs> so all this coal farming we've been doing, I can't possibly be out of coal. And I think what I'm actually going to do as well, I didn't realize it was salmon berry season. Now I'm getting iridium quality salmon berries and they're actually a fair amount better than the plain ones so let's put away the rest of the salmon berries that i have no blackberries i should say and then whilst those ones are smelting let's go and check in town oh no i missed another spot here too you guys are probably screaming at me right now about how messy my fields are <laughs> right what have you got for me he has prime produce you want 25 gold star vegetables or we can do the strong stuff for pam um <clears throat> I probably could do the strong star. No, I don't think I have enough time for that. Let's do the gold star vegetables because I think the rhubarb counts as a vegetable. I can go and double check that actually. I hope it does. If not, we might run into a little problem here. Let's see. No, it counts as a fruit. Um, uh, what I might have to do then is just like brush plants and parsnips tomorrow. We have a fair amount of spots over here and I can use ginger island too. That's probably what we're going to have to do. Um, so I'm just going to put a massive capital letters. Let's make it bold and put it right at the top so I remember. Next time I need to plant some parsnips. Okay, how many kegs can we make? We can make 17 and then we're out of wood again. Of course we are. That's fine though, that's still a start. But the shed is now definitely more than halfway full. Let's grab all of our star fruit, all done. And as before, I think I'm just gonna sell this batch straight away. We don't, we're a couple of house upgrades off getting casks, so I'm just gonna leave it. And then on the rest of this day, I'm gonna try and see how many thumbberries I can get. The fact that they're iridium quality now does actually make all the difference and when we're running around at this speed I don't think we're going to have too much issue catching most of them. There is a trick I could have done by restarting my game at the beginning of this day to make my bushes spawn more berries but I didn't realise it was some berry season really until I actually got back to the farm. We'll just have to make do with what we can get. Alright, 1.50am we've got- nope, 2am we've got 63 salmon berries, I'll take it. Given that they're iridium quality, they are so much better. And what do we make from all that? Oh my god, nearly 100 grand? 
over a hundred grand? What was it? Is it just the starfruit wine? Oh my god, amazing. Looks like in the next episode we've got quite a lot of things we need to tend to. At some point we need to go and visit all the pirates. We've got a load of parsnips we need to try and plant that'll handle Pierre's prime produce. We're just over 20 walnuts now short of the walnut room being unlocked and I can't wait for that either. A very busy second half of spring ahead I think. If you made it to the end of the video I'd love to know your personal best of how many eggs you got in the egg hunt. I still can't believe we ended with 13 eggs. I'm pretty proud of myself for that. <laughs> But anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please do hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, thank you so much to my channel members, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!